headed home with some Dairy Queen tacos. I went to one of the food pantries and uh, while I was gone, the funeral home called me again. So I did that and went and got chicken feed and bird seed because I didn't do that this past weekend. And uh, I'm headed home to see Brinley. Mama don't like to go without her. But there's some places she just can't go. But y'all, we have a purple stroller. I don't think I've ever showed it to y'all. And I put her in it, put the top down over it. You can't tell a baby's not in it. And we go in some place and she's quiet. I just push her around like she's a baby. And nobody ever says anything. <laughs> Depends on how long I'm going to be gone. But it's great for the flea market and stuff like that. Of course, you don't have to walk on the hot pavement when it's too hot. She's so stinking spoiled. Y'all, that was our senior citizen's place there on the left. I could go there every day and eat for like $2. They give it to you in a to-go box. Um, a meat and two sides, salad, and a bottle of water. You can sit in there and eat it, or you can take it with you. And it's uh, like two miles from my house. Um, I cook so much, I've never, I keep saying I'm going to go do that on Friday because they say, that the fish is excellent. I know a lot of people that go there. I know a lot of people that still work, that draw their social security, but they still work part-time and they go there and eat their lunch uh, almost every day because it's so cheap. Uh, it's from like 11.30 to 12.30, something like that. And uh, in the morning they have, uh, they play 42 and have exercise classes and uh, line dance classes and I keep saying I'm gonna go do those and y'all I stay busy <laughs> when I tell y'all I'm busy I am really busy that's why sometimes I don't talk to y'all till 8 or 9 o'clock in the evening and that's usually after I go to bed and I'm laying there trying to go to sleep and so I'll chat a little bit but y'all I'm just I get out and do stuff I don't I don't just sit in the house. And uh, I used to have a lot of friends that I did stuff with, but you know, they've all gone on different directions with boyfriends and girlfriends and gotten married and such. And so I just, I just live my life, y'all. Uh, people, you know, act like they can't do it if they're by themselves, but I had to learn, but you can. Yeah, you can. It's a, it's a special kind of freedom, y'all. I don't get lonely a lot. It, it does happen from time to time, but I say it all the time in the video. It, it's not a lot, y'all. You can overcome it. So for those of you that struggle with it, I just, I tell y'all because I want you to know that that you can get past where you're at. Uh, there is another side. There is another side. I didn't. I didn't ever think there would be. For a long time, y'all. I don't know what is going on today, but everywhere I went, it's just like super busy. The traffic has been bad. And every place is just busy. And the wind's blowing so hard, it's just blowing my car all over the road. I bet you it wouldn't be a good day to be pulling a travel trailer or something like that. I ran into one of my nephews at the farm supply. And 
he just hatched out a bunch of chicks. So they were buying chick feed. And that's another thing. I was looking for baby chicks again, and I was going to video them for y'all today. Nobody's got any baby chicks still, y'all, and Easter's this coming weekend. It seems to be getting harder and harder for them to be able to get shipments. I know last year and the year before, I mean, they were, they were few and far between in this area. They couldn't hardly get them in. What's going on with that? Because people are having plenty of eggs right now. So I don't know why there's not any baby chicks. Why these stores can't get baby chicks. That's why I hatched mine out last year, but I wanted a different kind. But I may have, have to hatch some more of my own eggs. Uh, but I would like to have some different, different breeds. a friend in Crockett that hatches eggs. I don't know. I may contact him and see see if we can trade some eggs or see if he's got something that something he wants that I have. Maybe we can trade out. I don't know. But it's just uh, I don't know. Times is strange. Just like things in the store that you know we took for granted. Now you, you can't find it. Or you have to give eight times the price. Some of the stuff that I looked at this morning before COVID, I could get for a dollar, literally, at Family Dollar or somewhere. I went to Family Dollar. And some of those things that were a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, they were eight dollars. I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you some things that I bought before COVID for a dollar or a dollar and a few cents was eight dollars and something. That's why I don't go shopping very often. And when I do, I go to the cheapest stores I can find. Well, a neighbor's walking his dog. Y'all, I have not had tacos out in so long, but since it's Tuesday, Taco Tuesday, I decided to treat myself. I kept thinking yesterday of a way to cook a taco for today, but I'm just tired of all the ways I do it. He thought I was gonna run over him. He thought I was gonna go by. He don't realize who I am. I was just slowing down to turn. There's Brindley in the penthouse window. Mama's been talking to her over the camera. Y'all, one time I was talking to her. She don't like it. She don't like it when I talk to her on that camera. It scares her. And I told her I was, told her I was coming home and she got down and ran to the bedroom. Oh, I always get too close to that post when I'm talking to y'all. I never have to pull up and read back in here. Just when I'm talking to y'all, I mess it up. And it's, I wasn't going to hit it, but now that's behind me. The other one was beside me. But I know where to stop to be able to open the hatchback. Y'all be blessed, and I'm going to put my tacos at the end of this video. There's my tacos, y'all. They look really good. Look, she waiting. She smells them. They look pretty good. Got me some little taco sauce. Put me some. Y'all, it won't squeeze out. Give me some little taco sauce on there. Me and Brinley's, we just going to get after it.
got tacos. I'm excited. I don't ever get to eat out. It's a treat. That's good. That's really good, y'all. Mmm, it's good and crispy. Very good. Me and my friend, when I worked, um, I don't know, what's it like? Buy one, one meal, get one free, or half price or something, and we'd do that sometimes. It's been a long time, y'all. Y'all, it's been four years or so since I quit work. I bet since I've had one of these. Mm. It's really good. And Brinley, she said, Mom, I've waited long enough. Yes, she said, Mom, why have you been going to Dead Queen? Well, we got to have dog food money before we go to Dairy Queen, though, girl. We got to make sure we got plenty of this old wonky tripod don't want to stand up. We got to make sure we got plenty of dog food money before we go buy taco. It's really good. Y'all have a good Taco Tuesday. And uh, I got several videos that I'll be releasing in the next few days. Welcome new subscribers. Everybody like, share, comment, click the bell. Get your best friend. To subscribe so I can get my thousand subscribers because y'all I'm gonna get that 4,000 hours soon before I even get 500 looks like subs oh there goes my camera anyway I'm gonna get off here and eat my taco y'all be blessed and don't forget to say prayers